Hi, welcome to Rare Web. In this video, I will show you how to create a custom module using HTML, CSS, and Hubble, and how to make a custom template for a website page. This is an about page design with a small section that has the columns, text content in the left column and an image in the right column. Now, let's create a custom module for this section. So, here we go. Log into your account and go to the dashboard. Click on the left sidebar panel and open the design manager. Then, create a folder for your template. Select the same options as I am showing here. Leave the default code as it is. This is just a blank template with a drag and drop area, which will allow us to drag our custom module onto this template. We will do that later. Now, let's create the custom module file for our page. Give a meaningful title to your module. We will assign our custom template to a page and our custom module to the template. First, let's create a static HTML structure for our module. Now, preview the module. You can see the module content, but there are no fields showing to edit. Now let's create some fields and include Hubble variables in our HTML structure. So the content will dynamically go into our HTML structure. Click on the Add Field button and add a color field. We will use this field for our section background color. Copy the variable from the field and put it in the HTML structure within the style tag. The next field is a text field, which we will use for our main heading.
give a meaningful label to the fields, so it will be easy to figure out which field is for which content. Again, we are selecting a text field for the subheading option. Next is for the paragraph content. I am selecting a rich text field for this. You can also select a simple text field. The next field is an image field. It will give us the option to upload an image from our device or media gallery. Now we have added all necessary fields. You can now check all fields working in the module preview tab. If you see changes reflected on the screen when we edit a field, it means your fields are working fine. Now we will style our module a little bit so it looks like the actual design we are following. We will write our CSS in the CSS tab. You will need to have basic CSS knowledge for this. I am not giving actual font sizes and colors to text as this is just a demo to show you. Let me add some CSS and show you how it will look after adding CSS. We are close to our desired result, that's how it looks right now. Now, let's make a new page. Assign it the template we created earlier. Scroll down. You will see an option for other template. 
In other template, you can see our template, which we named blend template. Select it. Put a page title in the general option. Currently, our template is showing empty with a drag and drop option. We will drag our custom module onto it. Click on the plus icon and find the custom module by name. Drag it to the template. After dropping it onto the template, you will see the default content showing on the page. We can change this content in the editor option now, and we can use the same module multiple times. Now, I am making an additional option for the module just to show you how we can add more functionality to our custom module. I will make an option to swap columns. This means the left column will go to the right and the right column will go to the left. So, let's add a Boolean field. Select display as toggle. I am making a logical statement here with the help of an if condition. If the toggle is on, then the columns will swap their positions. If the toggle is off, then they will show as default. Great, it is working as expected. I am dragging this Boolean field to the top to show it in the top options. So, we have made a fully custom reusable HubSpot module. This is just a quick video for the custom module with minimal options. We can add more options and features to modules. If you want more videos like this, let me know in the comment section.